Hi guys, in this video we're going to be talking about measures of dispersion. Dispersion means how spread out values are so rather than where they tend to centralize, which is mean, median, mode stuff, okay? So hopefully you watched the last value. This time, our video, I'm, this time I'm going to walk you through how to do these um, things, okay, on the, on the TI-84 calculator. Very quick video, okay, TI-84 tutorial. Know first that the range is the difference between the greatest and largest, or the greatest and least data value. So I'm going to take the biggest and smallest values, and I'm going to do the difference between them, which is basically a subtraction, right? Standard deviation is a number that tells us how spread out values are. What is the, how far do they deviate from the average value? Okay, and so basically what we know is that a smaller number means that the numbers are more packed together. right around the mean, okay? And a larger value means that they're more spread out, okay? So there's a there's a very, very short definition of what standard deviation actually pertains to. The more spread out the values are, the higher the standard deviation. And we also are going to look at outliers, which is any value that just seems to be way above or way below anything else in the value, right? So um, easy example, if I'm a basketball player, I score uh, five points and then five points and then six points every game, right? If I'm going game totals and then four points and then three points and then 36 points, that 36 points is an outlier, okay? It's going to drastically affect my overall average points per game, but it really isn't something that occurs typically. It was just kind of a one-time deal, right? That's what an outlier is. So let's take a look at an example here. You're competing in an air hockey tournament, and the winning scores for the first 10 games are as follows, okay? Find the mean, median, mode, range, and standard deviation of the data set. So it's pretty simple to do if you know how to enter the calculator values, okay? So I'm going to go to the stat menu, just like I did last time. And before I get going, I already have stuff in there from the last example, so I'm going to go ahead and clear all my lists out. I'm going to hit enter. Ooh, it doesn't like that, right? So maybe I won't do it that way. Okay, so let's go instead. Let's go to edit, and here I have it. Okay, now I want you to pay attention. Ready? If I hit delete, I'm going to delete the list. I don't want to do that. Okay, instead I'm going to come down here. I'm going to hit clear. Clear the list. Notice all the stuff at the bottom disappeared. I'm going to hit enter, and it goes back to blank. It's still L1. Okay, it's still list 1. So now let's go through and let's enter in the new values here. So I have 14. 15, 15, 17, 11, 15, 13, 12, 15, and 13. Looks like I have 11 values. Is that correct? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Looks like I screwed up somewhere. Let's go find out where I screwed up. 14, 15, 15, 17, 11, 15, 13, 12, 15, and 13. Oh, 10 values. Sorry. I just missed it. Okay. All right. So, um, time to go do some stuff with this. All right, so I'm going to hit second. And I'm going to hit quit, and that's going to get me out of this. Okay, I'm back to my main screen. Now I'm going to hit stats, and this time instead of inputting values in the edit menu, I'm going to go to calculations, and I have one variable I'm working with, okay, one list of values, so I'm going to hit enter, and then enter. It's going to tell me all sorts of information. First of all, remember the top one, the one with the bar, is the average value. The average, the mean, is 14. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. If I scroll down far enough, I'm going to find the median. The median in this case is 14.5. As far as the mode goes, I'm just going to have to figure that out. And it looks like 15's got to be it, right? It occurs one, two, three, four times. More than, obviously more than any of the others. So 15 is the mode. Okay, so that's just by simple counting. As far as the range goes then, all I have to do is look down here. It sorts it for me. It says the smallest value here is 11 and the biggest value is 17. So in other words, all it does is the minimum value and the maximum value saves you some trouble from having to go find it yourself. Okay, And all I have to do to do the range is do the biggest number minus the smallest number. So 17 minus 11 is 6. Pretty simple, right? Then the last thing is what is the standard deviation? And so you just have to know the symbol for that. Okay, and the standard deviation, there's a couple different types of standard deviation. In our Algebra 2 class, we're dealing mainly with this one here. Okay, that's the symbol for standard deviation, and in our calculator, it says the standard deviation of x. So in this case, it says the standard deviation is 1.67. Okay, that number has a meaning. We're going to see a little bit in the next, uh, next step 
what happens if we add an outlier in, okay? But basically, be able to calculate it for now. And, and when you go take a statistics class, then you can learn what that actually means and, and what you're doing with it, okay? So, suppose that the winning score of the 11th game is 25. Put that in, basically, it's find the new va values here if 25 is the 11th value. So, in other words, we're just going to repeat the process. And this is what's nice about having the calculator, is all I have to do is I go to the stat menu. I go to edit, I'm going to scroll all the way down, and now the 11th value is going to be 25. Pretty high scoring, right? Compared to all the rest of those values, man, 25 is definitely an outlier, right? Well, how does that affect things? I'm going to hit second. Uh, actually, I'm not going to, I'm going to hit enter first to make sure 25 is in the table. Now I'm going to hit second and quit out of the menu. I'm going to go back into stats, over to the calculate menu. And I'm going to do some one variable statistics again. So I'm going to repeat that and notice how things change. Now, the mean value is now 15. So it went up by one. Okay, that makes sense. You added 25 in. That's a large value. I scroll down a little bit. The median value is now 15. The mode is also 15 because that doesn't change. I went through and there's still got five times or four times that, that 15 occurs, right? Now, as far as my range goes, the range now goes from 11 to 25. So I take 25 minus 11. The range is now 14 values. And the standard deviation is now, look at that, it jumped up. It's 3.54. Now, why did it jump up? It's because before, whenever I was looking at just these 10 values, those values are all pretty close together, right? I mean, 11 to 17, that's not a very big spread there, okay? When I throw the 25 in, all of a sudden, I've got this one that's pulling the average way up, right? And the values are way more spread out now, okay? So we see that the standard deviation increased, okay? Mainly, though, I just want you to be able to put these in your calculator and be able to get them out of the calculator, what, the, what these actual values are. Okay, so which measure of central tendency, that means mean, median, mode, does the outlier affect the most? It looks like it affects most the mean in this case, right? The mean. The one that affects the least, though, is the mode. In fact, it had no effect on the mode, did it? That's because the mode is just however many, I mean, which one occurs most. What effect does the outlier have on the range? Definitely increases, right? Definitely increases the range quite a bit. How about the standard deviation? It makes it larger, right? It increases the standard deviation as well. I could say increases there, I suppose. Different words, same idea. So I can see that just from plugging in values. All I have to do is look. It went from 1.6 to 3.5. That's a larger value. The range went from 6 up to 14. That's a larger value. They both increased. Hopefully you're able to go ahead and type those values in your calculator now and be able to do the homework and uh, get by for our end of course exam.